as well as the pleasant variety of state passenger services, will also be examining plenty of interesting rail freight operations, including traffic over the newly opened Sturbelt Bridge. Coexisting with the state network, Denmark also has a surprisingly large collection of private lines, which provide many useful passenger and rail freight links with main state services. Many of these feature distinctive elderly locos, like the XDSB Class MX, which still continue to give sterling service. During the course of the program, we'll also be looking at one of Denmark's most popular museum steam lines at Rurup. Denmark, with a population of only 5 million people, is the southernmost of the Scandinavian countries and comprises most of the Jutland Peninsula. It extends about 338 kilometres from the north to the south, with more than 400 islands in the Baltic and North Seas. Familiar to many English visitors as the gateway to Denmark, Esbjerg is the main focus for present-day railway operations in western Jutland. Esbjerg Station building is as good an introduction as any to typical Danish railway architecture. Passenger trains approach the port from three directions. This service has originated at Struer in northern Jutland, some 150 kilometres away. Other trains reach Esbjerg from Turner in the south and from Fredericia in the east.